Well, political parties and parliament agree that the finance minister will have to play a tough balancing act when he delivers the medium-term budget policy statement on Wednesday. All right, well... We take uh, uh, the budget continues to address our continued endeavor to take uh, the, uh, the economy out of the wood and continue to grow it. Uh, most importantly, we continue to invest in the uh, infrastructure program to create uh, quality jobs. We require National Treasury working together with national departments, provinces and municipalities to review the composition of spending, the efficiency of spending, as well as all future spending priorities, including the nuclear build program, national health insurance, higher education, and of course the public sector wage bill. He has to stick to the expenditure ceiling that he announced earlier. He, we cannot have an increased budget deficit or increase in government debt levels, and we need to avoid a sovereign downgrade at all costs. We'll all check, did he succeed to curb, for example, the government spending, he promised that. Did he succeed to stop the corruption to a certain extent, because that's what he intended to do. And was the growth rate good enough, good enough that he don't need to raise taxes, because that's the big worry. We don't want that next year. But he will give an indication whether he succeeded with that. And then surely from a political point of view, it's important that he's there. The issue of consolidating the, the, the fiscus, the final posi financial position of the country, we expect to hear a clear direction as to whether or not he's been able to deal even with wasteful expenditure within the system itself. And thirdly, obviously, it would be the restructuring of the non-strategic state-owned enterprises. Right, okay.